We're in the kitchen now with Juliet Sear, and this is a Christmas pudding for those who aren't a fan of the traditional one. And wow, we this looks good. It does, doesn't it? Because it really looks like a Christmas it pudding. Does. So it's still got that kind of lovely festive feel to it. But I mean, I just think this is delicious and perfect. But why not have both? I think. Why not have mm. both? And this is something that you can do early. You're not sort of fiddle faddling around with balls. Christmas exactly. You don't be doing that on Christmas no. Day. Um, I, uh, no. I, I like the fact that team are actually making something of a point here because I have been wandering over and nicking all the sweets <laughs> throughout the show, and so I seem to have uh, a full bowl by there the side of me. So I'm like, there you are. There you are. What's left over? Behave yourself. No, exactly, right you can complete... So what is in here? What is this? So, first of all, you've got an outer shell of um, a Swiss roll, so it's kind of like a bomb, in a sense. So ah, yeah. You just basically line a bowl, and then I've got shop bought uh, Swiss roll, and you just kind of make a kind of outer casing. Mm -hmm. the, so it's really easy, just pop it in like that. Yeah. And then um, I like to just um, have some melted chocolate. So just make sure you kind of press it down so there's no holes. Yeah. And then just... I'll just put my last bit on there. There we go. And then some melted chocolate and just brush it over like this, just to kind of seal over all of the sponge. And that kind of ah. seals it off and also it helps to kind of insulate it so it won't start sort of defrosting. So you're only spreading it, it's not like you're creating a whole wall? No, like just kind of spread it over to okay. coat it. So that's the first stage. So once you've done that, oh I like to God. put that in the freezer just for sort of... For as long as you... I mean, you could do this, you could spread this out over a few days if you mm -hmm. wanted to. It's mm -hmm. really not a lot of hands-on time. So get it in the freezer, so then you've got a kind of chocolatey bowl ready yep. to fill up with all of your goodness. So the first thing is some salted caramel ice cream. I've just got I, um, that. I've just... <laughs> so good. Now, in my head, quietly, I said to myself, you've just found your new most favourite ice cream. <laughs> oh, the salted Brilliant. caramel. Brilliant. Oh, my God. Good, isn't it? Oh, so that's, good. It's amazing. It goes really well with the kind of malty balls, I think. Well, yeah, I found that. <laughs> <laughs> So just get, like, fill up the bowl, like, roughly half full. I mean, if you didn't like salted caramel, who wouldn't? You could do it with vanilla and chocolate. Yeah. Um, so just put that in, spread it just to flatten it. So I've just got this out of the freezer about 15 minutes before, so it's soft enough to spread. Yeah. And then I like to put a nice layer of crushed multi balls mm. on there like that. Oh, wow. It's good, isn't it? Mm. And then just kind of spread that down. So that goes back in the freezer, again, for as long as you want to, but ideally for, like an hour before you do the next bit. And is it all right for ice cream to melt a little bit and then go back in the freezer? Absolutely. It's fine for it to soften but not completely melt. Right, fine. So then just put okay. it back in the freezer. So once that's done, so you've, then you've got <clears throat> another... Um, not another. Well, I have got another one. <laughs> yeah. So there it is. It's, it's been frozen and now it's time to put the next bit of Final ice cream layer. on. I see. So so you need to have you finished with that, salt, that salted caramel ice cream? OK, don't touch it. OK. <laughs> <laughs> it's incoming. In go coming. for it. Legally. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that is that is salted caramel ice cream soup you've got there. Oh, so good. So again, the same way. I mean, this is so easy to do, and you could even it's kind of assembling really, mm -hmm. and you could get the children involved in this if you want to let them have the fun. But I like to do this. It's just a really fun thing to do. It's like a kind of Maltesery jigsaw puzzle that it's we're going to so do. So delicious. So that all that, goes in. That all goes in, and then flatten it off just yeah. however you like. And then um, I take a little bit more melted chocolate around the top edge, so just kind of try not to drip it everywhere. So just to kind of seal it around like this. Yeah. Once you've done that, then make a kind of little base for oh, it. You so that do. all goes on, yeah. Okay. Like that. And oh my gosh, that's yeah, so Yeah, so it kind of naughty, all seals it? it in. Really naughty. But this will, so I'd say this will do like eight to ten. Easily. Right. You don't, you only need a thin slice because it's really, really. Yeah, wet. yeah. So once you've got all of the base on. Just take a bit of cling film and then you kind of want to flatten it. And with the sort of Swiss roll, it's easy to mould, squash mm. it into the base like that. If you want to, you can even get a plate and just push it on mm -hmm. like that. So that it's quite compact. Yeah. So that, then it can go back in the freezer. Obviously, because you want that ice cream to go really nice and chilled before you decorate it, because the decorating will probably take you about at least 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. So okay. decorating, I'm just going to... So chocolate. that bit you do in advance, that's fine. That's so, in the freezer now, we can yeah. forget about that, we could do that tomorrow. Exactly, you can just do any of these stages at any time you like. But, um, and then you can also decorate it a week before or two weeks before if you wanted to. So that will still go in the freezer like that? So it will just go in the freezer like oh, this. Oh, wow! And the way to decorate it, I've got, oh, I've boiled, boiled my cream, perfect. So we've got a ganache, so you just oh. pour boiling cream over your chocolate. Oh. So that's perfectly melted. And then just take a wooden spoon and just bring it together by just 
Is um, that how you make ganache? This is ganache, simple as that. So you see, yeah. as you just stir it in the center, you get like a little whirlpool where the cream sort of drags into the middle. Yeah. And that will kind of become a nice sort of chocolatey ganache sauce. Let that cool down for sort of 10 minutes or so, so it's still spreadable. And that's what you're going to use to stick all so your that's balls going, in. That's going over the top of the pud. Yeah, so, and it's nice because you can kind of get a nice thick layer. If you were doing it just with melted chocolate, it wouldn't go in as well. You know, it's quite hard. So, a bit of ganache onto there. And then you can build it up. So, I start around the bottom, obviously, so it holds the weight of the ones Do above. You have to work quite quickly so the ice cream doesn't melt. No, because if you imagine, like, it's been in the freezer, I mean, I would say do this, let the um, blank one be in the freezer, ideally for a day. Yeah. You've got at least an hour, really, because it's all sort of insulated by no the sponge. Way. Mm. Yeah, you've got the sponge and you've got the melted, the melted chocolate that's set hard, so it's going to keep it really frozen. So then you just have fun with it. So I kind of, I love these ones because you can create the sort of drip. What are they, what are they then? The white they're called snowballs and they just come out for Christmas. Oh, okay. snowballs. oh they just come out for Christmas. Yeah, especially for Christmas. <laughs> but they're perfect for this. So you can get a really nice kind of proper Christmas pudding drippy effect. So it looks like the real thing, but you know, you don't have people that... Loads of people don't like Christmas pudding. I don't know what the facts are. It's I love 40%. Christmas pudding. I do too, but some people really hate it. I'm that they? person that after Christmas goes and buys all the Christmas puddings that are in the sale and eats them you? all year. Mm. Do you ever fry them? That's the nicest Fry way. them? What? Oh, yeah, fry, fry up slices. That's the best way to reheat it. Fry it in butter and so it goes really what? crispy. No! Yeah. Fried Christmas pudding? Definitely. Oh, You've never done that before? No! That Try it. Utterly. I am so <laughs> going to do that. Wow. The healthier the better at Christmas, I think. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But, you know, I put it in the freezer like this before I actually decorated it. And then on, on, at Christmas, just, you just pop a couple of holly leaves on. I've made some sugar ones, but you could even just get fresh holly and berry and yeah. just stick it on the top. And put it on the top. Yeah, That's then, amazing. Yeah. And how long before you eat it should you take it out of the freezer? Um, a minimum half an hour, right, but maybe even it... up to an hour because it will be like a rock. Mm. Okay. So, yeah, you need to kind of give it some time, but... And then you can just slice That's it. That's beautiful. Well done. Thank Amazing. you. Thank you. Thank you. Delicious. Thank you very so much. So good. Indeed. Thank you. Thank you. Delicious. Right, for all the recipe details, take a look at our This Morning app.